Hey guys, it's Miguel here with McLeod Technology bringing you a video on how humidity and temperature can affect the printing and how we can solve any potential problems we run into as a result of humidity. In this video, we're going to answer questions like what is humidity, what it does to your printer, how that can affect your prints, why you should care, and what we can do to solve these problems. So let's get right into it. So let's start with what humidity is. In simple terms, humidity is the word that we use to describe the amount of water vapor in the air. So the higher the humidity percentage, the higher the water content of the air in the area. Printers are very complex machines and changes to the environment can affect the performance of them by quite a lot. Print heads in particular, such as this one, are manufactured to operate within an acceptable humidity range. If the humidity is too low, the print head may dry out and onboard cleanings will become less effective when problems arise. You'll see problems like color inaccuracies, banding, and faded or dull looking prints. Here in this example, you can see how fixing the overall humidity in the room has fixed the colors on this print and has transformed them from being bluish to the correct green look. If the humidity is too high, the print head could get too wet and won't be dry enough to properly fire the nozzles. You'll notice things like bleeding, streaks, smudging, and an overall diminished quality to your prints. The optimal operating humidity percent ranges from 40 to 60%. Printers are operable in any other humidity ranges, but understand that operating under 40% or above 60 will put the print head's overall health at risk and will also put your print qualities at risk. This is a humidity monitoring device called the hygrometer. It shows you the indoor humidity and the temperature and the potential highs and lows of the relative humidity points. Now here at McLeod Technology, we ship these with each printer so every customer has the ability to monitor the temperature and humidity. I'll show you in just a moment where we put them to accurately monitor our printers. So if you have ordered our 2410 printers, you have the ability to put them either on the roll cover, which is metal because this has a magnetic back, or you could put them right here near where the paper is dispensed, or for more accurate readings you could put them inside the printer where the print head would roll um, it's going to be hard to read it this way but it would be a lot more accurate now that we've addressed what humidity is and how it affects your printer let's get down to the meat and potatoes of the situation not addressing these problems could cost you hundreds if not thousands of dollars a month in misprints it could cost you even more in print head replacements and other components that may be damaged if condensation builds up in the printer but not to worry there are solutions this is a humidifier. Um, this is actually the humidifier that we use here at McLeod to make sure that our testing environment is perfect for the printers that we send out to customers. I wanna give you guys a few tips on what you should look for when buying a humidifier for your printer. The first thing, uh, and probably the most important, is that the humidifier that you buy should be easy to use and quick to fill. At the end of the day, you're running a business and adding another complicated machine that could take up your time doesn't really make sense. So one that is really fast to fill and doesn't really have too many bells and whistles should be perfect. Another thing that we look for is that we make sure that it is non-misting. So if you look here, uh, it says that this is an evaporative uh, humidifier, not a misting humidifier such as this one that you know they also sell, but we don't really want to buy that one we want to buy the one that's evaporative the reason why is because we don't want the mist to get onto the to the film paper or to get inside the printer we also get one with replaceable or washable filter the reason why we get one with a replaceable or washable filter is so that any minerals in the water that could dust up won't get onto our uh, onto our film we also look for one that is built to run for a long period of time without needing to be tending to. So this one in particular, for example, uh, runs up to 24 hours without having to be refilled. And that's perfect because usually we print for 8 to 10 hours at a time anyways. Now, obviously, this humidifier only works in a case where the air around you is not humid enough. Now, if it's too humid, you'll have to buy a dehumidifier, which pretty much works in the opposite way. It pulls water vapor from the air into the dehumidifier, and it'll also filter the air while it does it. Um, there's a couple of these you could buy. Usually, I would buy them at Walmart or Best Buy. Uh, this humidifier in particular, I believe it costs us about $30 at Walmart. Um, it's not too expensive, and it'll really save you thousands of dollars in the long run. So it's, a, it's definitely a, a worth investment. So that's our video on humidity and how it can affect your prints. 
If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't be afraid to reach out to us at mccloudtechnology.com or call our customer service department um, at the number down in the description below. Or you can message us on our Facebook group. Thank you and have a great day.